My name is Nick Kazakis. I attend Wyoming Seminary. I'm a junior and I'm ranked number one in the country at 132 pounds. I found wrestling at the age of nine. My dad was a very successful wrestler and he took me to my first wrestling practice in Florida. So I really began in Florida. In the beginning, he was very hands off as he wanted me to find the love of the sport before he started like trying to turn me into like an amazing wrestler, which he has done and I'm grateful for everything he's done for me. So he was kind of hands offish at first, but as I got older, he started getting more and more involved and he just did so much for me and I'm very grateful. I've met some of the greatest people in some of the weirdest places uh, and it's just amazing. You meet some amazing people along the journey in this sport and it's awesome. And yeah, it's just really an amazing thing. And when you go out on the mat, it's all you, all your training, everything comes up to that moment. You can't blame your coach, you can't blame your team. It's all about what you put into it and the outcome, whatever the outcome is, is what you worked for. I believe that when you go out there to wrestle, you shouldn't be playing patty cake. You shouldn't be rolling around on the mat. I think it, it needs to be a dominant finish. It shouldn't just be, you know, going out there, hitting a single leg, taking them down, and then like, you're just rolling around trying to hit something. I believe you need to show dominance. The, the originality of the sport was like showing dominance and it was fighting. That's still my belief to this day when it comes to wrestling. You need to go out there and you need to go 100% with it. Last year at Ironman, uh, after I won my finals match, I look over and I see my team all cheering me on. And that was probably the happiest moment of my life, just seeing people like yelling for me. And it just made me so happy to know that I have a team that loves me and I love them for it. And they brought me here. I'm really happy with uh them and what they've done for me it's so it really wasn't like wrestling it was really about camaraderie and like the love that my friends my teammates and my coaches gave me what i'm looking for in a college is a coach that will be there for me and he will grind grind me like my dad did he will be on me when i need him to be on me and i need a team that will be there when i need them I want them to have the mindset of going to the Olympics because I want to go to the Olympics. That's my main goal since I was 10 years old. And I would also like a college that's interested in starting a girls program because my little sister is a wrestler and I believe they deserve as much as a chance as anybody to be able to go to a D1 school, wrestle, and then go to the Olympics. I, to me, that's just phenomenal. Like I watch girls, sometimes I'd rather watch girls matches than guys matches because they're just so much more vicious and violent with the sport and it's amazing. So I feel like they deserve to go to a D1 school. I'm more of a violent wrestler. My brother, he is a very technical wrestler and my sister, she's just a mix of both of us. So she's the scariest one. <laughs> so we're all really close together, me and my family.